Yo, Vey Santa here. So I didn't actually wake up on time for this uh, Pokemon Presents, but I will do a live reaction here. I just left the page here and then so I don't get any spoilers and stuff like that. So let's just load it up and see. Uh, present. I'm going to try not to look at the other stuff. That's the UK version. I don't know if there's a difference, but here we go. Hello everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. Oh boy. First, I'm excited. We'd like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon Unite. Oh, Unite. The Nintendo Switch version I mean, we were kind of know, right? Been released, and the release of the mobile version has now been set for September 22nd. Damn, the end of the September. In anticipation okay. of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. Nintendo Switch and mobile device users can play together in Pokemon Unite. Uh, Crossplay. As many people as possible will be able to enjoy playing it together. Players will also receive special gifts in their game based on the number of people who pre-registered pre the mobile version. Thanks to a special campaign happening now. We hope you'll all pre-register and look Damn. forward to the mobile release. Look at that skin, though. Players who are quick to jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released oh, yeah, Zero Aura. can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as a launch bonus. The Unite license can also be used in the mobile version by linking accounts. Oh, can you link accounts? I can play on mobile and Switch. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh damn, Mama Swine. <laughs> nice, nice. Earthquake. Sylveon? Yeah, yeah. I think that's been data mine, right? Oh, just moonlight beam. The moonlight just strikes down. Okay, we got new two new Pokemon. Look forward to more from Pokemon Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Oh, this Cafe Mix. I remember this. Pokemon Cafe Mix is getting a revamp. And with it, a new title. Pokemon Cafe Remix. The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements with which you can mix, link, and blast puzzle icons. Okay. I remember playing it briefly on the mobile. There will be tons of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix and new dress-up options. You'll also find more ways of growing and developing your staff Pokemon, so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Hmm. Pokemon the Cafe remix. remix will open its doors this fall. I wish it was kind of short-lived. Oh look, Pokemon Masters e EX. The tag trending on Twitter. <laughs> Before. Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two-year anniversary. Do I want to jump back into this? I don't know. It's been so long. I stopped. I stopped playing. Leon has arrived, and he's partnered up with Eternatus. Team up with Eternatus. and Hobbs to face Eternatus in the legendary event currently underway. Instead of Charizard. I mean, it does have Charizard, but I guess different version, the Cygna suit maybe or whatever. Celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX. A hundred. Chance to scout up to one hundred think pairs at no cost. Damn, Plus, should I just go on just to summon? Events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. Think about it. Think about it. And will be returning in a special outfit as part of a Masters think pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target all N, opponents huh? with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N as well as other two-year anniversary sync pairs soon. Okay. Miss September. Then, starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. Villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story takes a darker turn. You won't want to miss it. We have plenty of other events and exciting content I'll think about as well. It. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. 
Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can After? Do I need to re-download just to get gems? Campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. <sighs> Still thinking about it. Oh, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Just, just more Pokemon, right? Fifth anniversary will have Pokemon that were first discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. Oh, they're finally the at the Galar Pokemon region. Part three Sword and Shield event will begin on August twentieth, twenty twenty one, at ten a.m. local time. Players can look forward to seeing Wulu, Quavit, and Phalanx during Phalanx. the event. The, the full Phalanx. Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta will also be appearing in five-star raids. raids. It seems that the sudden appearance of Pokemon originally discovered in the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be sure to take part in these hmm. events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your adventures in the real world uh, continue to grow in Pokemon Go. I, I, I kind of quit this so I can <laughs> concentrate on other stuff. All right, I want to see the main games. Come on. Yes. I'm excited for this. I'm getting it. I never played Gen I never played Gen 4, so if I know of some of the Pokemon like Chimchar. Gotta go for the Monkey King, right? There you go. Okay. Sure. I mean, we gotta make sure to see if anything new pops up, like post game or something. It looks nicer than. Like, they changed the lighting and stuff. I mean, it's still kinda super chibi, but. Alright, Pokemon following you? Okay, okay. Alright, I need to see the features that are like maybe different. There's a gym. I have no idea if it's the same or not, but. I, I know that guy from uh, Pokemon Masters. <laughs> Stickers? You can decorate Pokeballs. Union room. The co-op? No, I don't know. Style? Okay. Oh, you can dress up your clothes. Oh. Beauty contest thing. Oh, you gotta do the timing. Explorer's kit. Whoa, it's a weird ass underground dungeon. Wait, this one, this part seems interesting. This is this like the post game? Oh, you have your own house or whatever room thing, like in Sapphire. Oh, they actually appear in the overworld. Yeah? Overworld Pokemon? Oh, this is pretty hype. Maybe I'm just more hype because I've never seen these before. But... Team Galactica. Is this from um, the third game that usually comes out with us? Diamond Pearl. Platinum or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> the Cynthia. Time, space, Dialga, Dialga. I only know those from uh, Smash. <laughs> Not actual game footage. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, Omega versions. I'm guessing, or they become whatever. Looks like November 19. Yo, so we have a 
a date. For sure, I won't be streaming this because I never played this before. So you guys get like a brand new reaction of someone that never played it before. The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon One, two, three. Three months. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. Okay, okay. After 15 years, Pokemon Diamond and years. Pokemon Pearl have been reborn into Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Are you going to compare the difference? This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, catching mm -hmm. wild Pokemon and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and Is the first one also rock? the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's myths, passed down through the generations, and unravel the truth behind their mysteries. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's in the old games. This is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. Okay. This is your childhood friend and rival. He hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly rivalry. What's the guy's name again? Wally? From, I'm trying to remember Pokemon Master. One of the gym leaders you'll take on during your journey. He uh -huh. uses rock type Pokemon. Is he the first gym? Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. Uh -oh. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind it. Looks fun, man. Can't wait. Activity. Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows I know, she become champion, right? points along your journey. It's even more fun. Okay, here we go. Gameplay the underground. from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and revamped for these new games. In the Grand Underground, you can participate in a number of activities, such as digging up fossils or creating okay. your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. Is there a verse uh, co-op mode? No. Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond ah. and Pokemon Pearl. You can Apparently, make your own. The Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed secret in your base. secret base. It seems that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully explore oh, the really? world underground spread out beneath the surface of Sinnoh. That one looks fun though. Stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the effects that appear when Pokemon spring out of Pokeballs. Oh, such as okay. Or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey stickers. and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. There's only one to come out. Woohoo! One new feature that was not available in oh, Pokemon yeah. the style. And Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Ooh, your I like the cyber style. Your adventure. In super contest shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly show off a contest move, and aim for a successful show. Cooperate with show your type. Pokemon to really work up the crowd. In the Union Room, this release allows you to use not only local communication, okay, online, right? but also yeah. online communication to interact with trainers all over the world in real time. So we have Pokemon battles, Please yeah. Please enjoy battles and Pokemon trades with many other trainers. Is there a... You can walk is there a gauntlet, maybe? That no? Appear in these games. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with your partner Pokemon. Was, that all, was there a Battle Frontier or anything? Encounters with all kinds of people and Pokemon and the mystery behind Sinnoh's myths await you. Okay, okay. So, so the hideaways is the end game stuff. Adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh region. See, we'll see. Okay. Do they have what? Do we have more post game like regarding that used to be in Please the other game? Just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released to celebrate the launch of these games. Wait, wait, what? 
This special Nintendo oh, Switch Lite oh, damn. is dressed okay. up art of the legendary Pokemon Dialga and Palkia. Nice, nice. Special Nintendo DS Lite Onyx, Dialga and Palkia edition. I don't, I don't need a light though, but... 2006, to align with the original game's launch. It will be available to purchase beginning November 5th, 2021. Look forward to it. Next, we have some information for you. Oh, here we go. Legends the main, game main game. Developed by game Please don't disappoint, please. It's with the other starters. They, they both start off with the, 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 the starters. Long time ago, when the lives of human and Pokemon were still separate. Okay, okay. Trees look better. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is kind of like Pokemon Sword and Shield Wild Area part, but... So kind of like that's like the... That is Stantler. The evolution. So Sword and Shield is kind of like a a test for this. Okay. The graphics are kind of rigid. Maybe because it's on the light. Uh, I mean, not on the, on the switch. All right. The graphics for the environment textures. Still kind of wonky, uh, but you can roll. It's action now. You don't have to battle anymore. Oh, you oh you can battle like that. Just throw it out. Nice. The the battle mechanic me seemed interesting though. It looks big, but who knows? The graphics are still kind of rigid. I'm surprised. I mean, not surprised, I guess. I don't know. How's that? <laughs> is that a new Pokemon, though? Like, is that like a... Statler? Old Statler? <laughs> That used to exist and then get extinct or something, or you know, evolved into something else. This one looks nicer, uh, but there's like a cutscene. There's oh damn! You got to dodge in IRL. Oh, oh, you actually get hit. <laughs> you can level up your trainer. Strong style, agile style, single strike, <laughs> rapid strike. Okay, okay, not not bad. The gr just the graphics kind of mm. looks fun though. Oh look, it's a weird growl. Oh, that's a bravery. Oh, so these are the, technically the new Pokemon, but it's a remix of the old one. So, yo, it reminds me of a... I just like Genshin and stuff. You gotta roll out of the way. Or Monster Hunter Rise. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Okay, okay. January, wow, that's like that's like two months after Gen 4. <laughs> that was the latest trailer for Pokemon Legends. Damn. Arcus. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Yeah, these, I see the rolls and stuff. The roll. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui. Hisui. There was a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. It's like a prequel. Now Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. Yeah. In the future, this land of Hisui will come oh, to the Sinnoh? the Sinnoh region. Damn, this is Sinnoh. Set out adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. That's why it, ma it works out. The base Gen 4. Adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions. With divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which hmm. researches Pokemon. Galaxy. Professor Laventon's field of study Laventon. is the ecology of Pokemon. This hat. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Right. Captain Silene is the leader of the Silene. Survey Corps. Though she may seem to no treat you harshly, Deep down, she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Strict, but Commander caring. Commander Kamino oversees the entire galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows going to be some kind of twist, like one of these guys are the bad guys. <laughs> The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties Ooh. hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work, you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Okay. Excursions outside Decent the size. Preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. Crap. Nice. In the Hisui region, you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokemon. Right. Do too much damage oh. from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey. I'm work. gonna sneak and. Uh... If your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. You actually gotta Once just sleep. <laughs> assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. All right. So they do have quests now. They have quest lists. Yeah. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. The Pokemon the go here. Not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Right. This is what Sword and Shield is supposed to be, right? Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon dun, dun, dun. may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed. Hey, that's the that's just like Cyber Sleuth. Choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, strong style and agile style. Damn, this one's interesting. I like the I like the the gameplay mechanics. The Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the Strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move. While the Agile style huh. is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain I mean, you can use none, right? You just be neutral. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. Oh, you gotta actually you go over there. You can your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon. Oh, they actually have more stuff. Multiple times and more. So oh, they actually have lots of different Pokemon to Pokedex. Pokedex. But there's different types of stats within that Pokedex. Uh. Now, we'd like to introduce like mini quests. To Pokemon living in the rich natural environments oh, that like are spread Stantler. out the What the hell is this? Region. This one's interesting. This Pokemon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural environment of okay. the Hisui region. 
with a nice gold beer and stuff. And it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. Right. This Pokemon is well, yeah, what is it can Brianna? With great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they be Basculin. That's what it reminds me of. Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it spin on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this like land forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Growlithe. Pokemon with its great majestic Hisuian. is the Hisuian form of Braviary. Braviary, that's how you pronounce it. And can Braviary. Hear its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. Oh, a psychic. Psychic this Pokemon, lying. which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect huh. its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent yeah, insulator, see insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily. Oh, so a rock type? Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. Is it rock and fire? <laughs> the Pokemon Arceus holds there you go, Arceus. the story. But what connection does it have to I your look another tree. Power of another tree. <laughs> finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of Damn, the Damn, it's gonna be it's gonna be eventful yourself. near the end of the year. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Pre-orders for Pokemon what? Legends Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. All pre-orders? Yo, we pre-ordering. We'd also like to announce that support for these titles is planned to come through Pokemon Arceus, the club yeah. service for Nintendo Switch I figured. and mobile devices in 2022. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. As for the ranked battles that so many of you to enjoy. Oh boy. As before in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We hope you all have fun. Oh, uh, what? More competitive play in the future. Pokemon Battle will not take place in Those Wait, are what? The latest updates There's no Wait, what, what? We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokemon adventures to come. Thank you all. This is like full single player kind of thing. Wait, but I saw Pokemon Battle. There's no rank is what they're saying. Hold on, let's go back, go back, go back to this. Rank battle. Okay, there's no rank battle, but you can just play for fun. I see. So, like, no massive bot tier, etc. You gotta bring it over to Sword and Shield and play it. Interesting. I guess they'll. Oh, are they gonna update the Pokemon Sword and Shield so they can actually have the. Hmm. So they actually have the new, the new Pokemon in Arceus. Okay, okay. But yeah, pre-orders open after this broadcast. I'm going to go pre-order them because I, I do enjoy Pokemon. And and I haven't played Gen 4. I was going to get that for sure. That one I was also going to get for sure. So anyway, I'll be, I'll be streaming this on Twitch. Uh, if you have any dots and stuff, you can leave in the comments. Or you can come to Twitch and tell me in person. <laughs> uh, I mostly stream nowadays like... Tuesday, Thursdays, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Maybe Thursday, maybe. Um, but yeah, my schedule is usually on there, so I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and with that, later days.